What's going on guys? This is Chris from Terrestrial Imaging. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the latest update for the Matrice 300 that allows you to now use the DJI RC Plus Smart Controller. Keep in mind, if you do go through with this update, you will no longer be able to use the Enterprise Smart Controller. So in this video, we'll show you how to upgrade to the latest firmware, connect to the new controller, also downgrade to the older firmware, so that way you can use your Enterprise Smart Controller again. So for those of you who have been using DJI drones, you know that the software will automatically look for updates. And when you see an update found, you have the option to actually go ahead and update. Now, with the latest firmware from the manual and stuff online, it says that this update should not automatically be detected and found for you. The reason they do this is because, again, when you update, you will no longer be able to use your Enterprise Smart Controller. So if everyone's drone just automatically updated and you didn't have the new RC+, Plus, well, you're in trouble. So if you find that your controller is asking to update and you see this firmware number here, if you don't have the RC Plus controller, don't update. If you're finding that your controller wants to update with this number here, and you have the Enterprise Smart Controller in the 300, go ahead and carry on the update. So now for those of you who do have the RC Plus controller and want to actually go about your update, I'll show you guys how to do that now using DJI Assistant Enterprise 2. So first, we're gonna to have to go to DJI's website and download DJI Assistant 2 Enterprise Series. So I'll have that link posted down below, but for now, let's go ahead and do it on my laptop. So from here on DJI's website, you'll see that you have two options to download for Mac or Windows. Just download the, uh, the package file for Mac or download the executable for Windows. When you have that downloaded, go ahead through the setup and make sure everything installs properly. Once you're done, you should then see DJI Assistant 2 pop up for you. And then from here, what you're gonna need is a USB-A to USB-C cable. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug in the drone to the laptop. So with DJI Assistant 2 now installed, next you're gonna wanna go ahead and turn on your drone. Looking at the drone from the front, if you look on the left side, there's gonna be a rubber USB port that you're gonna open. And then in there, there's gonna be two different ports. You're gonna ignore the bigger one and you're gonna open the rubber cover for the smaller port. From there, you're gonna take your USB-C cable that's already plugged into your computer and now you're gonna plug it into the drone. So now on DJI Assistant 2, you'll see that the Matrice 300 RTK was recognized. So we're gonna click the Matrice 300 RTK and then DJI Assistant 2 now will automatically look for firmware updates. So right now you'll see that I also have an update for my no-fly zone. For now, I'm just gonna ignore that because that's, what not, that's not what this video is about. So from here now, you'll see that the Matrice 300 has multiple different firmware options. Right now it's on the current version of V07.00.0100. If you see that option as well as the options below on this list, that means your Matrice 300 is currently within the DJI Enterprise Smart Controller firmware range. Any of these numbers means that you'll be able to use the DJI Enterprise Smart Controller and you will not be able to use the DJI RC Plus. So let's just say you do not want to use the DJI RC Plus and you want to stick with the Enterprise Smart Controller. Just make sure that your drone and your controller are updated to the latest firmware, which is V07.00.011, and you're all good to go. Now, if you wanted to use the RC Plus, this is where we're gonna to have to go ahead and download the latest firmware from DJI's website. Okay, so to get the firmware that is compatible with the RC Plus, we're gonna to have to go to DJI's website. I will post the link down below. But for now, if you can see my screen, you're gonna see that on, sorry, this screen, I have all of the firmware available for the Matrice 300. Right now, you're gonna see this one right here, this is the V07.00.01. That's gonna be, again, the firmware for the Enterprise Smart Controller. If you wanted to use the Enterprise Smart Controller and you did upgrade to the one compatible with the RC Plus, you will have to download this zip file and downgrade so that way you can use the Smart Controller. So now if we want to upgrade to allow us to use the new RC Plus, we're gonna pick the firmware option down here below, starting with V. 57.00.01.00. This firmware is gonna allow us to use the RC Plus controller. So from here, you're gonna hit the zip download and wait for that to download. So I already had these downloaded, so I'm gonna open them right now. And I have my two firmwares listed right here. So now we're gonna open up DJI Assistant 2 Enterprise Series again, 
And if you look at the list on the left, we're gonna go all the, way the, to the, all the way to the bottom to the offline update section. This is now the only way to get your Matrice 300 to version 5.7 and higher in order to be used with the RC Plus controller. So from here, we're gonna select our upgrade file and I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder. And then from here, I'm gonna select V57.00.01.00. And I'm gonna select the zip folder. From here, I'm gonna select open, and then I'm going to hit start upgrade and start update. Now what's gonna happen is the update will be transmitted to the drone and then it'll go through the upgrade. Once it's done and it's complete, you can unplug the USB-C cable and then we'll show you how to bind the RC Plus controller. All right, so with the update complete, I'm gonna unplug the drone from the computer. And now I'm gonna look at my RC Plus controller, which was already updated to the latest firmware just over Wi-Fi. So on the controller, you have options now to select between different aircraft models. So if you click this little double arrow icon over here, you can select between the 30, the 30T, the 300, or the 350. So I have it selected as Matrice 300 RTK, and if you don't already have this selected, go ahead and select that. Now that this controller is able to connect to a 300, and my 300 has been updated to the, for, uh, to the latest firmware version, 57.00.00.100, I can now go ahead and bind to it. So I'm going to now hold the power button on the drone for five seconds. And as you heard, there's now a beep, and it's now in binding mode. The green light on the power button will start blinking rapidly. Now on the front of my controller, I just have to hit link to aircraft. So look at that. So the link happened pretty fast and I'm now bound to the 300. So if I enter my camera view, I can now confirm that I am connected to my Matrice 300. All right, so to downgrade our M300, we're gonna have to go back to our computer, power back on DJI Assistant 2 Enterprise Series, and we're gonna take our USB-C cable again and plug that back into the same port on top of our M300. With that plugged in, DJI Assistant 2 Enterprise Series should automatically recognize the M300. To go into the M300 by clicking onto it. And now you'll see on the list of firmware, we only see V57.00.0100. We no longer see all of those other firmware options that we saw before. If your firmware screen looks like this, your drone is compatible with the RC Plus controller and no longer compatible with the Enterprise Smart Controller. So what we're gonna have to do now is go to offline upgrade again. We're gonna have to select our upgrade, except this time we're gonna be picking that V07 firmware. We're gonna hit open, start upgrade and start update. And now it'll transmit the upgrade to the, uh, to the drone and it'll go ahead and automatically update. Now, I know it's not necessarily an update, it's a downgrade, but this will get your drone compatible with your Enterprise Smart Controller once again. All right, so now that our firmware has been downgraded back to a version that is compatible with the Enterprise Smart Controller, I have my Enterprise Smart Controller powered on. I'm going to unplug my Matrice 300 from the laptop and now on my controller, I'm going to hit link to aircraft. Remember, I now have to hold down the power button on the drone for five seconds. And my controller instantly linked with my Matrice 300. All right, guys, so that's how to upgrade your Matrice 300 to the latest firmware to make it compatible with your RC Plus controller or how to downgrade it back to a version compatible with your Enterprise Smart Controller. If you guys are looking to get a Matrice 300, Matrice 350, or an RC Plus controller, feel free to reach out to us at terrestrialimaging.com or call us at 1-800-359-0530. Thanks for watching, guys.